Now that Reigns and Mysterio are face to face, we're going to see what's going to go down. What happens in this match could have an effect on the rest of these men's careers. For Roman, it would be a feather in his cap to be able to destroy the greatest luchador. And for Ray, it would be the biggest giant he's ever conquered. Attacking the knee. A club with the right forearm. He reverses it. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Ducking out of trouble. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner, producing a trampling. Turning the tables. Mysterio's success is not limited to a division or type of competition. Corey, how has Mysterio made a career of defeating opponents of all shapes and sizes? Mysterio's reinvented his training regimen, so the emphasis... Oh, yeah. The moonsault! Yeah. <sighs> Setting up for something here. Carry and back. Oh, watch this display of power. And what a maneuver we just saw there. The end is looming now. Yeah, not looking good at all. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Getting carried. I'm sure what they're thinking. Establishing the upper hand. Reigns is picking up steam. And gets tossed back into the mat. Yeah. 
He went right into that turnbuckle. Reigns delivers a Superman punch. Knocked down. Reigns put his stamp on this one. Makes a cover. What a hard-fought victory for this guy. He certainly earned it. Wait a second. He... Well, how about going to celebrate? This is uncalled. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hey, you won the match. Isn't that enough? This issue was so deeply personal. This is just... Here comes a reckoning. The Archer of Infamy, ready to pass judgment. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. Introducing first, representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York. Weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian. No longer cares for the WWE Universe. No longer cares for the rest of the locker room. Because he has found his true family. And the Judgment Day is their name. Multiple title reigns in his career already, but Priest wants even more. And there's nobody who can stand in his way. The Prince has arrived. A man who has passed judgment on all of WWE. And representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Well, Finn Balor is a true fierce competitor who will beat down anyone in his path. Balor has honed his skill set and turned his entire body into a weapon. Hey, let's not forget, Balor is a very gifted technical wrestler. Yeah, Balor also has a very nasty attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. Um, hey, Michael, would you please shoot? <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of embarrassing things happen to me in my career. That may have been the most embarrassing thing ever, and Saxton. At a combined weight of 532 pounds, Otis and Chad Gable, the Alpha Academy. Two amateur wrestling standouts trained together before either man joined WWE. And tonight we get to watch their amazing wrestling skills, to which I say... Uh, thank you. Oh, come on. Go for it. Oh, 
Master Gable and Otis always discussing strategy. Two absolute geniuses of the mat game. Yeah, tonight we're about to see their thesis. The self-proclaimed show stealer. Do I sense sarcasm coming from you, Saxton? Maybe. And representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dog Ziggler. One of WWE's most accomplished superstars, a multi-time world champion, multi-time intercontinental champion, multi-time tag team champion. Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE. Right, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. experience. He's been a champion everywhere. A champion who lives the best life, jet setting all over the globe. The sky is the limit for Robert Reed in a WWE ring. So proud of all of his accomplishments. Why wouldn't he be? Byron, if you ever accomplished anything in your life, you'd understand. I accomplished a thing or two. Tornado tag with multiple teams facing off. Things are going to get frantic fast. Whatever team comes out of this with Dan Reeves is going to make a strong case for being the best in WWE. Oh, Balor with the counter. Boom! Running STO plants him.
smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. Needs to figure out the quickest way to end this. There's some power behind that punch. Here comes six foot eight, three hundred and eighty five pounds of chaos. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Shearer's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at three hundred and eighty five pounds. Brock Strowman! Terrifying power with unmatched brutality. And ever since his return, Strowman has been on a path of destruction. Impressive physical ability. One of the biggest and baddest to ever step foot in WWE. United States champion and the youngest money in the bank winner in WWE history. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE United States champion, Austin Theory. All the 
potential in the world, but unfortunately, a bad attitude too. Saxton, get out of the way. You can't be in this selfie. This guy has everything going for him. A surefire future main eventer. The future has become the now, Cole. Austin Theory is already primed for the main event in WWE. Theory here, a superstar who loves to get under his opponent's skin, loves to just grind their gears. Look, Cole, Theory can't help it if he's just so preternaturally talented that it makes everyone else jealous. They're just embarrassing themselves, getting so worked up about it, and Theory just so happens to take pleasure in embarrassing his opponents. Yeah, tonight should be no different for Theory. Yeah, but they're standing straight across from someone like Braun Strowman, the monster among monsters and a powerhouse amongst powerhouses. Brute strength, pure power. The things Strowman can do in and out of that ring never fail to surprise both the WWE Universe and his opponents on a regular basis. Oh, watch out! Gosh, landing face first. Oh, look at this! Headbutt! Boom! Got him set up in the corner of the ring. And it's reverse pain for that mistake right across the face. Strong counters are Strowman. Look, we know Austin Theory can be a mean son of a gun when he wants to. If there were ever a time when he should turn that aspect of his personality on, I would say this match is that. It's a tightrope to walk between aggression and frustration. Let's see if Theory can manage it. From the top. Exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. And Zagiri finds its mark. That holds back Theory's attack. He skirts around it. Kick to the gut. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. Oh, man, by the skin of his teeth. Gee, what a way to make us sweat. Jaw-dropping show of strength. Theory looking for a win in the now. With down. That can be Strowman's demise. Two. He kicks out somehow. An emphatic kick out from Strowman, and the monster needs to rally. And Theory clearly thought he had it there. He might have to consider a new strategy at this point. Oh, a wicked kick to the lower back. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. at his pace. And that's a no-nonsense theory, managing that tightrope, showing his aggression. A well-timed dodge. Ooh, brutal form. He's looking a little weary now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Stiff kick. Out to this position as theory gains his footing. with an elbow right to the mush. Oh, I had that well scouted. Look at this, going counter for counter. Strongest takedown. You have to imagine we're hitting the late stages of this matchup. Who's going to dig deeper at this point? We might just take that extra push, that extra inch. Forward.
create the difference. Oh, Braun stopped that in its tracks. Good God, what a knee. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. <laughs> Big boot! Incredible. Strowman with his sight set on ending this. And here's the monster on that Corey, look at the power! Running power slam! Ooh, absolute destruction from Strowman. Oh, brutal form! Just like that, Braun gets pounced on! Braun telegraphing that one. in the foot to the back of the head. Right to the back of the neck, that had to hurt. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, this is bad, guys. Strowman's bleeding. Super kick by Theory. Showing. Ah, oh, face first off the post. Ooh, and we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. The cockiness of theory on full display. There's a slingshot. Fails to connect on the springboard. Place target with the counter. And Theory isn't looking helpless anymore. Now's a good chance for Theory to gain his wits about him.
Attitude has been tested. Braun has him up. Power slam. Will that keep Theory grounded? Two count. Ah, oh, what a victory. What a win. And how about a little show of respect? How about that? You got to appreciate that. Even in defeat, wanting to shake the... Nuh-uh. The winner's got the no time. Hit the bricks, kid. Yeah, what a real classy guy, huh? Real classy winner. One of the tallest competitors in... WWE history. The personification of intimidation. The Colossus has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds. The Nigerian Giant. You want to talk about how dominant Omos has been already at his WWE career? This is a man who won the Raw Tag Team titles in his debut match, which took place at WrestleMania. And in the days since, Omos has scored major wins against superstars the caliber of Riddle, even his former tag team partner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Gentlemen, just take a look at the size of this behemoth. It is a scary, frightening sight looking up at a man the size of Omas. His opponent from Beirut, Lebanon, weighing in at 255 pounds, The Rocker. Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition. And here's a superstar that has all the tools to be one of the biggest names this business has ever seen. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. You're not the only person to be looking to convince tonight. And standing across the ring from him is the human Redwood Omos. Just a towering, terrifying marvel of a human being. All the raw power and athleticism you can imagine. Omos has all the potential in the world to become a major superstar. He sat under the learning tree of top talents and is now ready to stand out on his own. doing my 
my job if I didn't ask. Even if there's no good answer, how do you possibly beat Omas? It's all right, Cole. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't try to think of something. Omas is a physical marvel, but he's also inexperienced. He also doesn't know all the tricks. He doesn't know all the little things that win titles and earn main events. Stay light on your feet. Exploit the inexperience. Maybe then you'll have a shot. decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Two. Stunning display of power. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Four. What's he going to do here? And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Overhand connects. in them at this point. He moved. O'Connor rolls. Shoulders are down. He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pen. He takes control. of ground as this match continues. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, touch to the gut. Took the wind right out of you. And with that well-timed maneuver, Omas really feeling the effects of wear and tear. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad... Uh oh, that's a lot of weight on the top rope right now. With these two behemoths. No way. No! You can't no. do that! calls it clearly they cannot fight any longer. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Solo Sokoa at a combined weight of 493 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso. Both Jimmy and Jay have earned seats at the table yeah. with Roman Reigns. Roman, That's who it. has made both better. Well, I question that. Has Roman Reigns made Jimmy and Jay Uso better, or has Roman Reigns actually divided the Usos? It is just about impossible to overcome the bond that the Usos share, Saxton. And if you thought this rivalry was heated before, just wait until these guys get their hands on each other here. Yeah, this is one of those situations where the rivalry has become so intense that you just know these guys are going to take it to a whole new level here tonight. Champions, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. 
The Street Profits! Triple Crown Tag Team Champions, NXT Raw and SmackDown! You know what that means, Michael? It doesn't matter what the brand is, the Street Profits always bring the smoke. Yeah! something here. Uh, control on a suplex. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Tag made. Fresh man in. Take 
into the air and completely wiping out. And what a reversal from James. Kick to the body. Kevin Owens is always ready for a fight. 
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Well, he calls himself the prize fighter, and he's earned that moniker as of late. You're absolutely right, Saxon. You have to remember main event battles with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Roman Reigns. A look of pure focus on the face of the prize fighter. Because KO always has his eyes on the prize. The Beast, the most dominant competitor in WWE history. And his opponent, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar's been a dominant force his entire career. Brock Lesnar has made a career out of steamrolling whoever has dared get in his way. This man's got to make the most of his opportunities before Kevin Owens creates chaos. Yeah, once Owens takes control, this match is over. your TV set, folks. That is the new and improved Brock Lesnar. Oh, contraire, Cole. Don't let the smile and cowboy hat fool you. This is the same Brock Lesnar as always. Suplex City, eat, sleep, conquer. That's all still very much in his blood. That's true, Corey. I suppose he's just letting himself enjoy it more, which really has to rattle his opponents. But he's got his work cut out for him tonight. Kevin Owens is seriously one tough customer. A prize fighter always ready for a fight. That's the truth. No matter the time or the place, Kevin Owens is always prepared. And maybe even a little excited to climb in the ring and trade blows. Look at this. Just stop after stop after stop. Lesnar moved. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. Oh, my lord. Straight right. Good night. In my opinion, what makes Brock so dangerous is the fact that he knows just how good he is. That really allows him a mental edge that I'm not quite sure of how you overcome when you're in the ring with him. The key, if you can survive long enough, is patience, Cole. Lesnar's been known to play with his food rather than take the easy W. And that, in turn, can leave him... Take down, put him in the crossface, it's cinched in, this could be over. I have no idea how he hasn't... We're gonna free the arm and does just that. And that's the conqueror we all know and fear. But did you guys just see the distance traveled on that toss? He's going for the pin. This could be it. What does it take to keep this monster down? Still has a great amount of fight in him. Not going to let it end like this. Just stretching out the arm. Hoisting their opponent up for the fisherman buster. Cover! And only gets a one count. Not quite enough to put him away. Close lines. Good lord. So effective. The beast is taking charge. Lesnar is calling the shots now. Lesnar 
will be your tour guide for this trip to Suplex City. To Suplex City. Brock Lesnar doing what he does best. Hey, you really can't take the beast out of the cowboy. Straight into the barricade. Oh, and he slammed his face right into the barricade. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Uh oh, clearing up the announce table. Oh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Sequence of reversals there. Brock managing to get some control back now. Brock just got tired of being pushed around. He's like... Uh-oh, this is going to be bad. Really bad. On top of the announce table. A storm's up for the win. Nothing can withstand the savagery of these competitors. Not even on table. This mask could end up bringing the whole arena down. There's no limit to the destruction we can see here tonight. Try to end it. Two. No! Two count! I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Taking aim. Owens is a sitting duck. He's one step ahead there. Could be what he needed to ignite a rally. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens just can't find any group here. We are seeing a next performance for these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. Fighting the beast back. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. The beast is feeding off the energy in the WWE Universe. Ooh. Uh, left hand of the German. Lesnar fuses short. Ready to explode. Brace for impact. Here it comes. The Beast Incarnate with a F5. Oh, my. That's it. I think KO might be out. Brock Lesnar gets the win in an impressive fashion. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. An important victory for him in this match. And once again, Kevin Owens is on the wrong side of injustice. I don't think that was a certified referee out there. I